Hello, it is Wednesday here today, and we have once again matched into Talentless3 here, uh, who is currently rank 7, so, you know, they're kind of doing pretty well here, actually. Um, but, I'm attacking, you know, just getting my f one attack early in here and probably going to bed, just so I can do my traditional attack on Laser Shark 1 here, uh... Because for some reason he keeps putting Lulukar Apoc. So I'm going to just keep bringing Solitaria and Injury Unit into him. Uh, but for some reason it wins for him. So like, I guess Apoc's not that bad. If people bring Rylet ML Ken into you, I guess. <laughs> like, okay. Damn. How do I get those people to hit my tower? Anyways. Uh, so for round 2, I initially had DDR in here, but I'm not sure if he's actually, like, better than Shu here. Like, maybe it injures faster, but I think Shu's detonation is probably better, I guess? Like, it just injures him. I don't know if it injures him faster or not. I guess it does injure them faster. Uh, and then Airwell to tank, I guess, on Adamant, just fairly tanky. They'll be injured pretty substantially right off the bat, so... I'm not really too worried about having her tank uh, for the entirety of the fight. Like, I doubt I'll get outpaced uh, when I'm S3ing with focus and they're S3ing and S1ing without focus, right? And then just Solitaria, Fairy Tail, uh, lets me strip death buff, lets me strip speed buff. Uh, pretty good artifact there. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit tired here. But yeah, I have two stuns here, so. I, and like the fat barrier from Arrow S3, so I think I'm pretty safe actually, despite you know my no soul weaver status. And then I put uh, just this artifact as our comment for 15 crit chance, so I can actually fix my crit chance here on my shoe. And that's it for the round two here. And then for round one, uh, I think Benny Mario is actually pretty good into uh, this version of DDR, right? Because there's not really many units that work too well here because. Uh, most things just get immediately injured to fall here, like DDR presses S3, Shroon presses S3, boom, you're venomed a bunch, and then it's not a good time. Uh, so, we've got, uh, Benny Maru here, who won't get injured at all, and then probably just immediately one-taps the Shroon. Uh, I put him on Attack Boots and Tachi, because, you know, he's not going to be debuffed. Uh, Attack Boots, so, uh, he's probably slower than a counter DDR. So he'll just be coming in here and, you know, likely one-tapping this. And I've got Eaton here, just as double mitigation, because, you know, he can't get stripped. And he's just overall a good beefy boy. Uh, just on Adamant, because, you know, I uh, don't want to take extra damage than the T-Siren. And then I've got my RTA Pylus, wow, uh, on the Rocket Punch just to kind of deal with the T-Siren. Um, hopefully this is fine, because I, I think once shireen has gone, you know, it should be all good because DDR will be baited into the Eaton, and then uh, Benny Maru can just probably S1 him a bunch, and then T Siren will be going here, but I doubt T Siren can kill Pylos through Eaton. Like, even if I'm unbuffable, right? I still get the passive defense stacking, so it should be fine. Uh, I don't know. This is a new defense I'm hitting here, though, so uh, maybe not the. Uh, might not go right, and I might donate a shield. Hopefully not, though. <laughs> but yeah, my Benny Maru is kind of unmolded looking, so... Uh, if it does happen... Oops, it was the Mola, not me. I'll the one that molded Benny, Mar Benny Maru, though. You can't make me. Mm, yeah. I, I, I'm still not sure about Shu versus DDR. Like, I think... Shu's probably better here, just so... Just because she's got better... Finishing potential, maybe? I don't know. I'm uh, just gonna go in and it'll probably work out. No soul weavers either round. You get Chad comp angles. Let's go. How'd that take so long to load in? Yeah, okay, so he takes his extra turn. I get CR pushed up. Alright. Uh, wait. Uh, I guess that's not very useful for CR. Anyways, this should probably kill, right? I got countered. But she got death broken, so, uh, yeah. That's pretty good for me. Damn. 
But Benny Maru is kind of broken. Also, on my old build, I'm pretty sure I would have uh, been within speed RNG range of that. Uh, uh, but the DDR there, so it's a good thing I swapped to attack boots. Yeah, I mean, you can have Venom eaten, sure. But he can also hit your teaser. <laughs> okay. That was pretty straightforward. Damn. Yeah, Pilot's kind of broken. And then Benny Maru also kind of broken. Alright, hopefully round 2 works well. Strack Gauntlet. Well, I'm really glad I swapped my build here. Because <laughs> T-Sir... I mean, not T-Sir. Uh, Shu does not care about your Strack Gauntlet. Uh, I'm going to go for their Shu first here, I think. Just because it's really slow and probably counter. And... I mean... I'll just S1 here. Because if I do get a stun, it's pretty good. If I don't get a stun, it's also fine. Ah, uh, but I kind of want to save my S3 for after they have uh, gotten, uh, you know. Alright, I landed on Buffable. That's kind of good. I wonder if I can even land, because this is like probably full ER APOC, right? Hmm. Is it? It has some ER. Okay, but it's like 28k HP, so it didn't even break my barrier. Okay, bro. <laughs> uh, interesting one, I guess. Is this counter? I mean, it's almost certainly counter. Oh, okay, there we go. It is, in fact, counter, shockingly enough. Oh, I got injured. I got dual attacked. What is this RNG attack? Anyways, do I even have to hit their shoe with my shoe here? Or can I just hit the APOC while I have the barrier? Like, I'm pretty sure their shoe will die to my solely S1 and like the splash damage. I got countered. Oh, but I played around it. Because I did it when I had the barrier. Yeah, now their APOC's fully injured. Uh... And it's also been shown I can land debuffs on her with Sully, but she also has a 100% counter rate, which is kind of cool. Wait, what's the point of Strack? She- I only have like 90 effectiveness. Whatever. Uh, does this kill? No, it's pretty tanky actually. Okay, and then we stun her again. Probably. Oh wait, never mind. She's just below half now. Uh, so Strack doesn't do anything. I forgot about that part. Anyways, three shoe S three. Wait, no, it was four, wasn't it? it was it three or four? Three shoe S threes, three kills. Uh, sure. Easy attack. Uh, I don't know. If my Sully was landing though. Like, with the effectiveness buff, that would have basically negated the Strock, so I guess DDR probably would have worked, but... Uh, Shu? Is probably better, I think, into this type of defense, right? When you want to injure faster, because you get your own speed buff, and you don't get outpaced. And Benny Mario, good into DDR, noted, noted. Good learning experience here. Anyways, maybe on to another thing, but it might also be quite a bit later. We shall see. Okay, I went to bed, and I am now well rested. Uh, so we are just going on to the promised D-Aramintha. <laughs> uh, so our guild master here, he inted on this tower with the wrong Aramintha, right? So I am using the proper Aramintha and B here in order to, uh, get my victory here. <laughs> it might be kind of troll, I think. I don't necessarily expect it to win, but the idea is, right, uh, Aramintha can still burn her S3 to ignore ER, right? So you're guaranteed to land two burns, right? So, uh, as a result, right? And you have an 80% chance to stun. So I, I think that's pretty good, right? So you get the burns down, and then you have Bihu detonate them. 
because on his S1, it doesn't say it on the skill, but like uh, his detonate adds a 30% damage multiplier and his passive also has a 30% a damage increase, right? So uh, having Bihu detonate them is a lot better than Araminta. Oh, Araminta can't even detonate them anymore without the EE. Uh, but this is my Bihu. I just plus 30 the artifact. And he's on immunity just in case the uh, Yuffie encounters me. But obviously she'll be stunned, so I don't know what I'm worried about. And yeah, I I, I think it makes sense though, right? Because I, I, it just does a lot of damage. Like, like, like a lot of damage. Because he also places his own burns, which deals even more burn damage. Uh, so yeah, and, and also stun a couple of them, statistically. All right, and then I've just got Conqueror here, uh, because she's pretty good at tanking Shu. Um, maybe I should do like Warhorn instead of Sepulchrum, but I think this is fine. I can... Eh, I don't know, it's kind of a troll attack. I, the most annoying part is Yuffie on Holy Sack though, I will say. But I, I should be okay, surely. Uh, I'll be killing the Shu first, I think, with the Bihu though, ideally. And yeah, that, that, that's, that's just round two. Uh, infallible comp. Round one here, I've got... My Arrowell on Bastion of Perlusha, so I can dodge the injury from the Ilanov S3 on my Lidi. And my Lidi is just going to be uh, S1ing into the Landy turn 1 here. And then Destina is going to uh, push her up with her S2, you know, 50 CR, push her up, and then S3, S2 the next turn. Um, I don't think I care about Krina not being baited into anything here, probably. Like, I might regret my actions if I get, like, death broken and countered. Uh, by the Ilanov, but I also have like the arrow wall stun, so I think I'm pretty safe actually. Still, uh, the annoying thing about Bastion is I can't put Lidi over here if I want to get the barrier. Uh, but what can you do? I think it's worth having the barrier, probably. Uh, but yeah, I'll be extincting Landy and then just extincting the Krenna and then extincting the Ilanov most likely as my kill order here. And yeah, should be good to go. I'd just slow Destina down a little bit for this. But I think she's still in speed RNG range anyways. Uh-huh. Okay, it is kind of troll though. It, it is kind of troll. But because there is already an int on here, it should be okay, right? I think so at least. Going in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Conqueror's... I don't know why I'm using specifically Conqueror. I thought about using General Pergus actually. Uh, which doesn't actually sound like too bad of an idea, does it? Oh, get countered immediately. That's okay. And I'm just gonna push her up. And probably stun Karina, aren't I? Actually, what do I stun here? Hmm, Lily should actually be cutting the Karina here. I wonder if I stun the Ilanov. No, I can just S3 Karina, not get death broke. Wait, wait, yeah, yeah. S3 Karina is the play. Uh, because I can proc her passive because Lily is cutting here, right? So I stun Karina. Uh, her S3, she doesn't get death buff up, because I'm that fast, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I got resisted. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, the Landy is not critting. Wait, the Landy crit now. Yeah, Arrow is lowest HP, I guess, so that's good. 20k Krina. Uh, yeah, that means I don't get death broken on the thingy. And then Landy dies. I get countered again. I get salvoed again. That's kind of annoying, actually. My arrow is pretty low. But I guess I get a heal off of this, so it's okay. And Karina is all the way back there. So I might even be able to uh, get her down. Okay, I'm assuming this Ilanov isn't on counter because she is pretty fast, right? So I'm gonna S1 her. Wait, no, no. I, I, I don't care about Krina countering is the thing. Wait, it wasn't ER even on the uh, Krina here. She just 15 percent of me. Whatever. And yeah, Krina next, pretty sure. The Stina can get injured, but I think it's not that big of a deal. And then this should finish, I think. Lily's broken, trust me. 
Yep, 20,000 damage. Not bad. Um, I guess I push the need these here. Still, I, I'm not really worried about Destina dying. And then she uses the wrong ability. Uh huh. Very good, very good. Okay, and now for the real round. Damn, that is a fast Sharoon. What the? Okay, so hopefully I land uh, the I'll provoke on her, I guess. What the fuck? She's like 280 speed Sharoon. I guess it's more like 260. So consolation, okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to get slowed here, so let's just push her back. Um, okay. Uh, I landed the pushback, which is all that matters. Because my Aramintha is stunning here. Yup, yup, yup. Is she? Obviously, I'm stunning. Wait! Immunity?! That's so bad! <laughs> okay, well... Is she a whole immunity?! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, huh. No, 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 it's okay, still. Uh, I just detonate the sh burns on a shoe. Um, uh, cause the barrier is gonna break, so I can go in next turn. Oh my god. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, Araminta can strip. The thing is though, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be holy sack, right? Um... And she's gonna come back. Yeah. But I think it's okay. If I land burns, right? I don't land enough burns. Like, does my. I don't think I die in time. Right? Because I. She has to. I slowed my conk twice, probably. Oh no. Okay. Wait. Are meant to lens burn? Okay. Bihu comes in with the clutch. Does he? Wait, does he come in with the clutch? Bihu's too good. <laughs> okay. Yep, I knew that was the comp to do. Okay, I didn't expect the 280 Sharoon or whatever that was. Uh, not even close. Bihu, broken unit. Araminta, also broken unit. Yeah, that was unlucky though that uh, it rolled immunity right there, otherwise I probably would have just s one the, uh, uh, Yuffie in there, right? But it won anyways, so that's all that counts at the end of the day. Anyways, on to another thing here. Okay, there's actually one unscouted tower left, and it was kind of an interesting defense. So we're going to be hitting this right here, and, well... Uh, round 1 is actually a similar comp to what I just ran uh, into Lion Slayer there, except uh, it's a uh, Yuffine instead of Landy. Uh, but I mean, it's the same strategy, right? Where you just like extinct, you know, a high damage target and then you go and extinct another one and another one. Uh, but this time around, uh, because it's Yuffine, I'm probably going to leave her for last actually, because Doris, generally speaking, doesn't really have much of a problem uh, tanking her, right? So. Uh, my Doris is some kind of leftover gear, but I think it should be okay. Uh, I've got her on pretty high ER, just so I probably don't get death broken by the Krina. Uh, but I think I'm going for Krina first here, actually, because death break is kind of scary. And then it's Green Armin on protection set Arya, so I have uh, double mitigation for the Doris. It's like, I'm a bit stuffy here. <laughs> uh, uh, and then the same lead as before. So, you know, extinct this, then extinct this, then extinct this, and it should be fine. Uh, unless I get countered a bunch, and then it's not fine. Uh, but regardless, uh, that's the game plan there. And then for round 2 here, this defense is actually kind of annoying. Because you can't really be dom right? Because they got two extra turn units and it's Ran, so that doesn't really work. And DDR gives effectiveness buff to Ran, so it's kind of uh, pointless to try to like full resist with something, right? Like, I do have Christy here, don't get me wrong, but that's more of just to play around to damage Ran than anything. 
and you can't really Benny Maru it because it's landy. So a lot of your options are cut off. However, the thing is, even if ML Ken gets slept, right, it's actually a good thing uh, because that means the landy is guaranteed to crit him, right? So I have my 100 ER ML Ken on proof of valor here, right? So I've got that uh, just so I have double mitigation still. And then I've got Christy here giving the ER to the back on Arius. Uh, she's also faster, so she can technically S3 before the ML Ken presses his S3, so he'll have attack buff for that. And then I've just got Destina as a Soul Weaver. Also, the idea is, uh, you know, obviously ML Ken solos their team, but uh, Christie's there, like I just said, for the Rain. If it is a damage Rain, I don't get death broken. And also, uh, just has a type of mitigation, I guess. I, I, It's kind of weird. I'm not, like, too confident in this. Because like I can still get death broken. Like DDR into Ran is pretty scary. But there's so few options that I think uh Ken just kind of works out. And like even if it is a no crit landy, I think no crit landy doesn't do enough damage to like actually, you know, kill me fast enough. So it should be fine probably. <laughs> uh but regardless, yeah. I put a bit more ER on my Destina as well, just so I probably don't get slept by the uh, DDR. So uh, right now I'm at like 300 turn one because I get Ice Crystal and the 60 ER buff. So, you know, I I, I I think it wins just because Ken is broken, right? Right. Going in. No, I'm not actually too sure what I go for first here. That's a pretty fast uh, thingy. Wait, they're both pretty fast actually. I think I go for Krina though. It's like, eh? Because I'll have a death buff. I'm not really scared of tanking in Illinov, right? There's Crown of Glory on the uh, Illinov. I mean, I'm gonna just go here. 21k. A counter? Wait, the counter is bad. Because <laughs> it gives her. Oh well. 21k. Goddamn. I'll be. I just put up death buff here. Oh wait, that makes a 50-50 though. Okay, it still went on the uh, doors here. And I did get death broken. However, Armin cleanses, so it's okay. And I counter again? Okay, it's a really good thing Armin fucking cleanses. What the fuck? Um, uh, Because she's gonna have S3 here. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about though. Get counter, yep, yep. Luckily, I cycle out of this. And even if she does counter me again, it's okay, I'm pretty sure. And then S3 to cleanse the death break. And then it should be okay. Like, I didn't get injured on Joris at all, so I should be chilling here. Counter again! <laughs> Excuse me? She stunned this time though, I guess. Um, so I can actually go Euphine here with my leave, and I should get a turn before her. So I think I do that actually, because I have speed buff, right? And I was also just like generically faster than her. Although she heals from this, so maybe I don't kill. Ah, I should kill. She has twenty one k though, so I might miss a little bit. Barely, perfectly in range to kill. Nice. And yeah, now I guess I just cycle lead here. Like, I don't care if Armin dies to another Illina button. Okay. Oh yeah, I should cut actually. Well, that was pretty straightforward. As expected. But round two might be less straightforward. Okay, Ran is first. I think I win then. <laughs> like, that's kind of all I need to see, yeah? Because that means that I'm not getting death broken here. Resist, resist, resist on everything. Good, good, good. And then I'm gonna just. S I don't really want to push Ken up, right? Like, it doesn't really achieve much, does it? So I'm gonna just... 
S3 for... Mm, I feel like I just S1, actually. Either S2 can up and S3 here. Uh, or I... Uh, S3 here for healing. But Christy has healing on her S3, right? So I don't think I'm too worried about that. Eh... Wait, I think I pushed Ken up here and just killed a Ran. So he doesn't like RNL me or something. But the Ran's gonna die when he S1s me again though. I'm gonna just S1, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the right play. Resist, 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 resist. Okay, I'm chilling. And she crit me. And she is gone. Alright, and then he crits me as well, and he is gone. Okay, good comp, good comp. <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta do that. Uh, just S3 because I don't have souls for S1. And then, I mean, wait, no, he has effectiveness buff this time, so I'm gonna just S1 again because my Destina can lap. Counter? Okay, counter Celestine. I resist resisted still. Alright, I'm glad Ken is still broken. And then S1. Okay, well. Uh, that's it for me here. Wait, has TL3 hit my tower yet? I've been checking like all day since I woke up and it's been unscouted. But I'm still uns- Okay, bro. Anyways. Oh, uh, good game. Talentless 3. Uh, they, their defenses are pretty annoying to deal with, so, you know, they are master chefs, of course. Uh, but anyways, that's it for me today. Uh, hopefully my cold is cleared up by the next sun, so I'm not super stuffy. Uh, luckily it's nothing serious, just a minor inconvenience type of thing. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed for some more Guild War, and I'll be back soon with some more. Yep, yep.